best things in life are free. The good life. It feels like LA. It feels like Atlanta. It feels like NY. It feels mm mm mm. Summertime shine. Ah, now throw your hands up in the sky. Damn, I miss the old Wheezy for real, man. I really miss the old Wheezy. Anyways, let's get straight into it. And I'm sitting on. Goodness gracious. I got a dress on today. Look at my dress, y'all. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't it look so cute? I got it from Shein, obviously. Nothing new here. Hey, my babies! Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's your girl, Raya J. And I'm um, back with another video, my babies. I hope all is well with you all, my babies. All is well with me. And I hope we all are continuing to stay about happiness, peace, and love. And I hope we all are continuing to stay determined, motivated, and focused. And I hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars that Allah has for us. Y'all, I'm running so late today to, um, to film this content. I literally got 30 minutes to film two content videos before I got to go get Wookie. Um, Because I stayed in the back. First of all, I rested for like two hours first. And um, then I worked out. My workout was almost like two hours, probably like an hour and a half. Then I stayed, I only was supposed to stay in the bath for 30 minutes. I ended up staying in for 45 minutes. So y'all, it's a lot of uh, things going on today. <laughs> so just bear with me uh, today, y'all. But let's just get straight into it. Y'all see the title, y'all see that thumbnail. Let's get straight into it. So today I'm gonna make a dedication video to all the black girls all around the world. And I, you know, this is just a sincere message from the heart to let you all know that you are so beautiful and that you are more valuable than you think and i got this inspiration um i actually got this information to film this uh content video for you all uh this morning it is uh what was today wednesday it's wednesday um yeah i got it this morning i took bookie to school and um sometimes i wait until her class officially goes into the school building and then i, I leave or sometimes i'll just drop her off because the teacher's there and i know she's good you know and then i'll leave but um specifically this morning i um i said you want me to go you all right she she was hugging me like no mommy just wait i was like all right so i'll wait um so i'm waiting you know with her they're standing outside in the schoolyard and um you know everything is calm at first and then you know in the morning and just kids in general kids can be <laughs> kids can be really wild and you know chaotic kids are so free you know they really just do their own thing um you know god bless all the children in the world um and i was standing near me and woogie and two girls in her class two little black girls to be exact um started like going back and forth with each other like these girls are nine years old and they talking about I got more hair than you and you wear the same shoes every day and I was like in my head I was I was like my, 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 my little person in my head was running around like oh my god oh my god and um I just you know after watching it for a little while one of the girls uh, got really upset and she uh, moved from the group of people and, and they had a, the group of kids around them while they was doing that Wookie was under me so you know I teach my daughter not to partake in any of that type of activity uh, because it's just very toxic and um, you know drama is just not cool you know what I mean so I teach my daughter well um, I'm pretty sure sometimes she do be standing around in the crowd you know what I mean sometimes kids just want to be down but in her heart she knows she knows what to do you know right and wrong and I pray that she always uh, makes good, good decisions over her life but um so one of the little girls got upset that was going back and forth with the other girl and she stepped away from the crowd and she basically was standing like on the wall and she was like pouting like you know like upset so something just came upon me and you know I don't like people to I don't like seeing people fight argue like I just I don't like violence I don't like violence I don't like arguing like and I don't like to see it either although you know I'm, I'm normal so although yes it can be very entertaining and you know it can just be very entertaining sometimes but when you get down to the root of the issues and when you really look at a situation from the outside it's just very toxic you know what I mean and people should just learn to talk things out um so she was pouting on the wall and I just, man, something just came upon me. It definitely was a lot. It definitely was a lot. And I just, I just felt like, you know, let me go say a few words to her. So I went over there and I said, hey, listen, don't go back and forth with people. If they want to talk about you, just ignore them. 
And listen, look at me. You're so beautiful. You are so beautiful, okay? She was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> so shocked that I did that because normally I don't talk to nobody you know what I mean y'all know how I am I don't I really I just don't I, I, listen man I, I'm very shy I'm very sensitive and you know you just I, you don't you never know what you're gonna expect from people right so in my in my whole life's journey I've just learned that I have to uh just uh watch who I uh conversate with watch who I give energy to and you know etc etc but anyways it's not a, it's not really about me um so she, man, she really took those words in. And I just want to let all the black girls around the world know that you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful to just give you all, um, first of all, they're talking about hair and shoes. We are way more than our hair and our shoes. I'll take this wig off right now on camera and you'll see my natural hair. Well, not actually, well, natural without a wig, but I did perm it so it's not natural as in my fro. Um... But I'll take this wig off right now and who cares? What you gonna call me? Ball headed? What you gonna call me? Ball headed scallywag? You ain't got no hair in the back? Who cares? And sometimes I wear the same shoes every day because I want to. Why are you worrying about the shoes that are on my feet? You know, I just, and you know, this stems from the way that they were talking and going back and forth with each other. This type of behavior stems from the household. Whoever is raising these children. You have to do better. In the, I never, I'll never forget. I watched this like, um, you know, like that nine nine one one nanny show where the where the uh, the kids are not behaving in your house, so you call a nanny and she comes in and she gives you like uh, better tools and resources on how to handle your children when they start misbehaving and when they're growing and stuff like that. I watched this um the UK nine one one super nanny on YouTube and it was a black family and they had nine kids and they had twins on the way. Okay, so the kids were, was running the house, you know, and they couldn't control it because. They had so many kids and it's only two parents. You understand? So that's understandable. <laughs> so, um, but I'll never forget the youngest daughter in that household. She always would go back and forth with her siblings. Like her siblings would pick on her and then she would say something back and then she would get in trouble. So everybody would always make it seem like the little sister in that family was the, the troublemaker. She was the bully. But in reality, she's only doing what she has been taught. She was only doing what she's seen her siblings doing. And because she see her siblings not get in trouble for the negative, toxic, bad behavior from the parent, you know, in the household and not get in trouble with, from the parents, she followed, she, she fell right in line. You know, so when the nanny, I, 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 man, I broke down in tears um, when she was, when the nanny was breaking down everything to the parents. She was like, do you hear the way your, your kids talk to each other? You bald headed, you, you black as charcoal and whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Talking about skin complexion, talking about hair texture, talking about the length of a person's hair, talking about the way a person dress, they, they, they wear the same shoes every day, uh, they may have a stuttering problem, they probably can't read as well as you, you know what I mean? This has to stop in the black community. It has to stop. And, the way we start to heal as a whole is we have to take take a look at the past. Go take a look at your at your past and see how you was raised, what you've seen, what you learned from the people that raised you. You know, in those type of behaviors that you adapted because that is the 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 environment you was in. We have to take a look at the past. And I know it's tough, but we have to do it. My black community is hurting so much. And at times, I don't even want to look. I don't even have anything to say. My heart is hurting for my community. And I just wish we all wake up. Everything is not about money. Everything is not about being, being a, the next rapper. What about being the next scientist? What about going to school for 15 years of college to actually become a lawyer? You know? Like, and why are we putting each other, do you not know that you are black and you are from the motherland and how special you are to be here today, this very second, this very minute, living your life the way you choose to? 
Don't bring the next person down because you're insecure. That's disgusting. I, listen, the way we heal is we, ha we have to take a look at our past. Most black girls and black women, black queens, black princesses, we have been molested, we have been raped, we have been talked down upon, we have been belittled, disrespected, we have been trained to take less. We have been trained and we've gone through all these bad experiences. Yes, me too, me too, and me too. But we can no longer live a life of toxicity. Don't you want to live a better life? Don't you want a, a greater quality of life? Every day you want to wake up and feel better and stronger and wiser. And you want to push towards your dreams and goals. Don't we want this? So we have to do the work. Because if you don't, nothing is going to get better. And if you don't, do the work. You're gonna have children that behave like those girls at my daughter's school that were arguing with each other about hair texture and hair length. And you wear the same shoes every day. What? They talking like that with each other because as the parents, as the adults, we're not doing the greatest of jobs. You are not giving your children all the attention that they need. You are not talking to them about real life things and what can occur. You are not teaching them about self-love. You are not teaching them to ignore your haters. Your haters are haters for a reason. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make this video too long. Um, just to know that I'm really praying for my black community and a part of the reason uh, a part of the reasons that I do what I do on my YouTube channel is because I want to help the next person. And that includes my black community. Top priority are the people I'm trying to help. I share my stories and my experiences because I want you all to see that just because you've been through X, Y, Z, it's not the end of be all for you. Things will get better, but do you want them to get better? Are you willing to heal yourself? Are you willing to do the work? What are you willing to do so Allah will bless you? What? And this video is not just for my black people, you know, all minorities in the world and even some white folks because some white folks, they grew up in, in you know, in a trailer and, you know, uh, in shelters and you know getting raped and molested as well and their family not teaching them self-love you know what i mean they grew up with shit just as much stuff that we've grown up with they just most of them don't really like to talk about it you know and the world likes to make it seem like only black people go through this type of stuff no it, it's not about the color of your skin, if you wear the same shoes every day, if you are uh, bald-headed, the texture of your, 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 the texture of your hair, the, the length of your hair, the color of your skin. At the end of the day, my babies, it's not about none of that. It's about deep within us. Do we really know who we are? Did we do the healing? Did we do the work? Did we learn to forgive ourselves and forgive others? Do we pray to Allah? It's about your inner world. That's most important, my baby. So, I don't want to make this video too long. I hope you all learned something in this video. If you are a parent to uh, top priority, this video is for black people. So, if you are a parent to a black young girl, please sit her down and watch this video with her. And let her know that, listen... You are beautiful. You are valuable. I've been through a lot of things in my life, my babies. But if I would have given up on myself when those, time, when those times were hard and when I was going through the storm and going through those bad experiences, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have been able to be here this very minute. It's only because I've healed myself and I'm still healing. Your self-healing is, a, is a, a life's journey. You have to continue to heal. 
And you have to continue to do the work on yourself and on your life. I promise you, if you start your spiritual journey and start giving it all up to Allah and putting all that love that you put out in the world, put it in yourself, you're going to be all right. You're going to finally find out who you are. You're going to know what you, you're going to know your worth. Just, I want y'all to be all right, you know? So I am going to end the video right here, my babies. This is the end of the content video, my babies. I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video, my babies. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace and love.